Hello. Uh, you might remember I built a, a Lego drone hybrid thing uh, a few weeks ago. I uh, said at the end of the video I was going to try and make a, a Mark II, it could be a bigger one, uh, but it occurred to me that I need to um, uh, find out how much weight the actual drone can lift before I start building it. There's no point in building it if it doesn't take off, so I uh, made this little video to, um, to see how much Lego the actual drone can lift and as you'll find out with some quite painful consequences and that was through uh, a thick jumper as well. Okay, here's uh, an intro and some clouds. So the first problem we had was to figure out how to actually lift the Lego in a stable way because drones are, are notoriously unstable when they're trying to lift stuff. So first of all we tried having a piece of string from each leg and uh, that didn't go so well. So anyway, then we tried to lengthen the, the string a little bit to see if that helped any with the stability. Stability? And this is what happened. is why you shouldn't get too close to drones when they're flying. Okay, uh, after that we tried to attach like a cradle to the bottom of the drone, which is attached directly to the cradle, uh, to the drone, sorry. And um, that wasn't brilliant either. So finally came up the idea to have a cradle and then attach with a longer piece of string because the, the downwash from the drone was making it swing and spin and crash. So uh, this was attempt number three and uh, let's see how we got on with that.
So, after all that, we've established that this particular drone can lift this cradle and part built engine with a combined weight of 464 grams. So that will be my weight limit for my next Lego drone hybrid. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, if you like this please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.